So we are out in the Junction City, Oregon area. My buddy Jesse owns a, a hay company out here. And as you can see, they are deep in the middle of hay harvest. And just like every other company in the country right now, he's shorthanded, so I came over to help him out for the week. And since Jesse's operation is on the unique side, I figured I'd bring you guys along too and show you something just a little bit different in the world of hay. And by a little bit different, I mean a lot different. I think you guys are gonna like this. Also, this uh, set power fridge that I like so much. Uh, you guys can win one, not, not this one, because. It's mine, and uh, the one we're giving away is an even bigger one, actually. It's the RV45 uh, set power fridge. And in a previous video, I mentioned that we were about to cross over a million unique individual viewers in one month, and we did go past that. We got like a million 66,000 or something like that, but that's over 1 million different people watched my channel in one month, and that is a huge accomplishment that I've been shooting for for a while, so celebration, you know, give away a fridge. Now to learn how you can win that fridge, make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I will tell you, just kidding, I'm not gonna make you wait till the end, I don't like doing that stuff. Uh, all you have to do to win is be subscribed to my channel and put any comment in the comment section down below, anything you want, as long as you're subscribed, enters you to win that fridge, and then I will have my uh, four-year-old daughter scroll through the comments and pick one, and that's the winner, it's really that simple, so. Enough of that stuff, back to the trucks and equipment because that is way cooler. Cooler than the fridge. Huh. I didn't even think of that, but that's actually a pretty good one. Okay, so what's going on out here? You can see all these stacks of hay. The hay squeeze is coming. Putting them into these blocks, which he'll stack these up here. Loading them on the trucks. The trucks hauls them to the barn where Jesse's actually at with the other hay squeeze where they'll get stored in the barn. So this is a stack that fell down. Uh, the field's uneven, they fall over sometimes. So now he's gonna try to flip them back upright, restock them all nice like these ones are, and then get it on the truck. I'd say he's done that before. All right, so this one's got a full load. He's gonna get strapped down, head over to the barn. He's heading over to the next truck. That whole stack is gonna go on that truck. Then that whole stack will go on that truck. Then this truck will come back and grab that stack and they'll just keep moving down the field until they're back at the road. Then on to the next one. Hopefully that shot looked cool. Uh, now we'll go chase down those two trucks over to the barn and see if we can find Jesse. This is one of Jesse's storage barns here, as you can see. Uh, he's got a few of these dotted kind of around the area and uh, they bring the trucks in here, which you can't see because the camera just makes it look all white. Uh, and they unload, bring them in here, store it here until they're ready to bring them over to the press building, which you'll see later where they cut these apart and, and press them down. And that part is super impressive and where things get really unique around here.
Okay, so for those of you who have never seen a hay squeeze before, you can see steering wheel, gauges, driving like normal. But you notice I'm not driving the steering wheel because over there there's another steering wheel facing the other way <laughs> for when you want to run the forklift end of it. So Jesse, this is Jesse by the way, Jesse's running the squeeze from that side and then when it's time to go down the road to the next bar, which I think this is last truck and then moving, he just hops over here and you drive down the road this way. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for that great summary, Jesse. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> no. Yep. Or uh, and, and the cool thing about this one is typically someone can sit over here and screw with me, but the new squeeze is it it turns the steering wheel off. So if you're riding over here, you can't uh, grab the steering wheel. Yeah, this is the last block, and then uh, we're gonna move to a different barn. We cleaned up this area where we're hauling out of. I'm glad that we're going to drive so all this dust will blow off my windows. It's getting hard to see in here. So have you even driven your pickup or have you just been daily driving the hay squeeze for the last month? <laughs> I feel like I've been driving the hay squeeze. You know, well, the air Grocery store, yeah, yeah, going to I the post the, office. I've been going to the store. The, the, uh, I got my phone chargers in here <laughs> hidden. And, uh, but it's got, it, it, the AC in this works better than my pickup because uh, it's got two air conditioners. So as you, like we're on what? It's freezing in here. Yes. And it's- You're on uh, the lowest. I'm on the lowest setting and I have this one off. So yeah, it's got, got this and it's got this unit so it's it's definitely uh it's definitely nice and cool in here so i think we're gonna and then i gotta clean this thing up i think we're gonna try to go to the uh, brooks truck show here in a few weeks so yeah, you got a, I got a little bit of dust you got some work to do before yeah, that I, I was gonna clean it myself and i'm thinking the detail shop's gonna be a lot better for the 1200 miles on this thing yeah it's, yeah 1200 miles pretty much barn miles that's a lot yeah, of trips. It's a lot of back and forth. <laughs> <It's a lot. laughs> it's all barn miles. 1,200 miles and 600 of them are in reverse. Exactly. Yeah, yeah you wear out reverse first. <laughs> okay, we're all done here. So you see Jesse going down the road up there. There goes the swather. That's the one that actually mows the hay down. All right, we're at the next barn and apparently we got some problems with the hay. So. We're gonna go check it out. It sounds like it's all been bailed too loose and causing some major problems. Let's go see what's up. Uh, looks like he's turning the top stack, which means it's not stacking very good. So when he's stopping and turning the tops in order to stack it means the bales are too soft to hold on their own so we tried to do it two different ways interlocks it oh wow you should not be able to grab the twine on the end look at how soft that is that means the baler bailed it way too soft and these are basically like oh yeah look at like big marshmallows instead of solid blocks of hay and that would probably be why he's only stacking too high instead of three high like he wants to. And now he's got to get that truck through these poles and out of here. It looks too tight, but they must be making it because all those trucks already came in. doesn't look like it's going to fit. Okay. I've been wrong many times in my life. And I'm going to be wrong many more. Very nice job. So in this barn, they'd like to stack them three high all the way up, but you can see they're only going two. Actually, look at that one right there. The twine's falling off the side right there. Uh, when the bales are too soft, you get all that weight up above, the bottom ones start to compress. 
and the whole stack will either fall over forward or over into the side walls and bust the side wall of a barn. This barn's pretty strong, but the wooden ones will go right through. So, looks like he's alternating the stacks and only going too high. So, uh, that makes it take twice as long to unload because you got to set it down, restack it, and pick it back up every time. And you lose a third of your storage space across this whole big barn. That's not cheap. Okay, so trucks are pulling out of a new field now. Better bales. What's that? These are way better. Look at the better thing. bales. Look, you can't yeah, even. Go, go down the slide and look at the. Uh... Yeah, you can't even hardly get your finger behind the behind the band now. Big, big difference. So now you can stack three high, which is going to make a huge difference in storage space in this barn. Look, Jesse's smiling again. <laughs> yeah, look at, look at the, you, you gotta come look at the mess we got, beat. we're hiding it in the back. We're gonna be dealing with that this summer. Yeah, look at the difference. So you're happy now, but I'm this, happy now, this now, winter when you pull this stack yeah. away and see this again. Yeah, I don't like hiding problems. <laughs> you're doing a good job of it today. <laughs> act like that never happened. Point this carcass away. Point this carcass. I don't remember. Uh, a eight, lot? Eight, nine, ten, something. Nine, ten? Yeah. Yeah, Jesse's much happier now. Good solid bells. Stack three high, no problem. Much more weight on the truck, which means much more weight into the press, which makes him a happy guy. All right, we are done for the day. I don't know where Jesse went. Got. There he is. Got some hay in here today. It looks good when you don't see the half stack yeah, behind that. I walked around the side, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks good from this angle. Yeah, don't just go, don't, just don't, don't go, go over there. Around the side. All right, see you back at the yard. All right, so now we head back to the yard, service the squeeze, service the trucks, get fuel and everything, get ready for tomorrow. All right, we're back at the yard. Just brought the last load back here. Jesse's gonna just unload this one here. With all the storage room you have here. It's almost out of room. That barn looks full, yeah. that stack yeah. looks full. Okay. Okay. And there's more. See all these super badass trucks sitting here? If you want to drive one, Jesse's hiring. He's got nothing but nice stuff.
all the trucks are unloaded, all the squeezes are parked, more trucks over here, fire trucks ready to go, and we're going to head back to the RV. Alright, I am sitting here in the RV editing that video. As you can see, there's that end of that little scene that uh, you just saw, and as you can also see, I didn't record anything past that spot. So I most definitely turned on the camera and talked to it a lot. Apparently I just didn't hit the little record button. But uh, after this spot right here, it was 8.30 at night by the time I got back here to this RV. I started at 8 o'clock in the morning, so a little over a 12 hour day for me. The rest of the crew started at 5 o'clock in the morning, so that's uh, 8 plus 5 back, whatever time that is, long day for them. So uh basically we ran out of time we didn't get to show you the press they take all those hay bales and press them down into sea containers and then they fit one of those giant truckloads into one tiny little sea container it's super cool we will definitely get to that hopefully in the next video but at some point in this whole series of videos we got a bunch of stuff to do over here so at some point you'll see it but either way i need to go to bed that's the end of this video uh for you and me but make sure you're subscribed and comment down below because that enters you to win the set power rv45 fridge and then uh, i'll have my four-year-old daughter scroll through the comments after this video posts and pick one and that'll be the winner so uh, make sure you get that done we'll see you there